Hello everyone. This is Manur Ali and welcome to my channel Learn with Ease. In this video, we are going to learn about the visceral relations of the stomach. The visceral relations of the stomach can be read under two subheadings, the anterior relations and the posterior relations. The anterior relations of the stomach or the relations of the anterosuperior surface of the stomach are in the upper part, you have the diaphragm and the left lobe of liver. In the upper part of the anterior, anterior superior surface, the left, region, the left side or the left part is related to the diaphragm, whereas the right region is related to the liver. In the lower part, the right side of the lower part is related to the quadrate lobe of liver, whereas most of the lower part other than this region is related to the anterior abdominal wall. Here uh, I forgot to mention about the gastric triangle. The gastric triangle is a triangular region located on the anterosuperior surface very close to the abdominal wall guarded on the left side by the left coastal margin on the right side by the lower border of the liver and inferiorly by the transverse colon. This triangular region is used to perform gastrectomy in case of patients suffering from complete esophageal obstruction. In patients of complete uh, esophageal obstruction, gastrectomy is performed in this region in order to feed the patient. Now, coming to the posterior relations of the stomach, the posterior relations of the stomach can be remembered, can be memorized with the help of a mnemonic which is Dr. S3 kills patients mercilessly. In the, uh, in, the, in the mnemonic, the D of doctor stands for diaphragm, the S3 are the splenic artery, the splenic flexure of colon and the suprarenal gland. The K of kills stands for the left kidney, whereas the P of patients stands for pancreas and the M of mercilessly stands for mesocolon transverse mesocolon. Now, the posterior relations of the stomach form the stomach bed. Usually, we rest on a bed. Therefore, the stomach also rests on the stomach bed, which is formed by the posterior relations of the stomach. Now, let us represent the posterior relations of the stomach with the help of a diagram. From above downwards, you find the diaphragm, then you find the spleen, the left kidney, sorry, here you have the diaphragm or uh, let us just mark it with the help of D. Then you have the spleen, then you have your kidney, left kidney, here you have your suprarenal gland or the first S. Here you have the splenic flexure, the second S. Here you have your splenic artery, the third S. Uh, yeah, we, we are done with K. Now we have patients, the P of patients, pancreas. And M stands for mesocolon. More specifically, the transverse mesocolon. Thank you and have a nice day.